If you can remember playing with toys as a child, you may have made up some stories and pretended that they were actually real. My imagination was vast. I love that fact. Now, today we're looking at a game that literally brings your toys to life right in front of your very eyes. Gareth Woods is back to tear a hole in space and time as we jump through a portal with Lego Dimensions. Gareth, awesome to have you here, my friend. Yeah, thanks for having me. Oh, this looks unbelievably cool. First of all, take us through the premise of Lego Dimensions. This was a massive thing for gaming. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, what it is is it's one of these, they call it toys to life kind of concept. So, I mean, you've got your toys, you build them in real life, you have your Batman, and we've got Gandalf and Wildstyle, and we've got the Batmobile, which we built ourselves. Well and done. And what happens is when you put the, these little characters on this portal, they literally come into the game. As you can see, Batman's right there. Well, Batman. 86th. Batman is gone now. And I, there are about 40 or 50 different characters you can get, and you put them on the station. And if I go, cool, Batman, let's join us. Let's be back in the game. Here he is, ready to play. I love that. So this, this sounds very social to me. This is yeah. a great way. You, you know, everyone's going to bring their characters, the ones that they built up. Do you actually build experience points, if I can call it that? Do these characters yeah. develop, and does, does that get stored? Yeah, so your characters level up as you go through the game. You can choose how to develop them, like their speed or, or agility or whatever, and, and particularly things like the Batmobile. You can build however you want, There's three or four different styles you can build a Batmobile. Gets loaded into the game, so yeah, Wildstyle jumps into our Batmobile. She can drive around, do her thing over there. And then what happens is, you know, as these level up and get stronger, that's saved into the progress of that little disc. And if you go to a friend's house and you can join, you put your little Batmobile there, all the progress that you've got is, is on that or little disc. Or you can nick one of your mates, <laughs> Gandalfs, and take it with you. Um, this game, I know, has completely grabbed your attention and your imagination. Who is this for? What kind of gamer is going to get stuck into this kind of toy-to-life well, platform? It's obviously, I mean, it's de designed for kids primarily, but I mean, anyone who's a Lego fan, I mean, that's ages from 7 to 70, yeah, really. 100%, like, yeah, 100%, um, yeah. Unfortunately, like, I've got a six-month-year-old, and I'd love for him to be able to play <laughs> But if anything, he's just sucking so, on the toys while yeah, I'm trying to play no, them. Just give him one brick. <laughs> just start him on that journey. I love it. So we've seen a lot of franchises connected to, to Lego. Obviously, they really dominate on the entertainment scene now. Do all of them connect to the game? Are there some that are left out? So, Lego owns the franchises to quite a, uh, quite a numerous amount of franchises, actually. They own the rights, at least, to a couple of franchises. Yeah. So, you've got Batman, you've got uh, Lord of the Rings, you've got Harry Potter, all the sorts. And so, there are lots of different characters. The Simpsons, for example, all these characters you can Krusty buy. the Clown. Yeah, Homer, <laughs> Bart, all of them. You can get the characters and they can join along in your game. In fact, there's certain points in the game that you can't get past without certain characters. So, over here, for example, we have this golden brick. And it says that I need certain characters, like, it lists them here. Only those characters can get past this point. Peter Venkman even made it in yes, from the Ghostbusters. Busters, I yeah. love that. So if you get those characters, he can jump in and help you. Or you can hire the character for a short amount of time. You, uh, for, they, we've got our currency at the top, our 3,900 units. We can buy, we can hire a hero for, unfortunately, 50,000. So we need to save up a little bit. That's Hollywood, baby. Yeah. Yeah, if you want the action, you've got to get the right parts. But of course, done. if a mate's got that character, can come over, help you out pass that bit and then you can move forward. Oh, I love it. it. It seems to have struck the perfect balance and I think for a big kid like myself, someone who really, I think my whole childhood was grounded on Lego, to be able to see it come to life in this way, yeah. truly, truly awesome. Gareth, thank you so much yeah, for joining us. Yeah, thanks so much, Shane. Well, the good news is one lucky Expresso fan stands the chance of getting their hands on a Lego Dimension starter pack. All you have to do is first off, go to our Facebook page, then comment on the competition post by letting us know who is your favourite Lego character and why. Oh, that's a tough one. You better make them good. The competition closes at 8 a.m. So please make sure you stay tuned in because we'll be announcing that winner live on the show this morning. And of course, all terms and conditions do apply and you can check them out on our website, expressoshow.com.